ज्ञान योग ज्ञान योग सो हियर इज कर्म योग एज प्लीज बाई सी क्रिस्ट वर्स पीपल इन सेक ऑफ अर्जुन श्री कृष्ण टोल टू द वर्ल्ड दैट बोथ वे मीन्स सांख योग एंड कर्म योग आर बोथ एचीव योर टारगेट एचीव योर डेस्टिनेशन सेम प्लेस यू विल रीच सेम ट्रां ट्रांसीडेंटल यू विल गट द रिजल्टेंट वुड बी सेम बट प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रैक्टिस इज डिफरेंट वन बाई डी अटैचमेंट टू बी डूअर इन सांख्यग एंड सी कैन हेल्प वर्क एज ए हेल्प टू द वर्ल्ड पीपल डीएचएच फ्रॉम द फ्रूटी रिजल्ट और डीएचएच द विश ऑफ फ्रूटी रिजल्ट वॉट यू डिड एज ए वर्क बोथ प्रोसेस ऑफ प्रैक्टिस रीज ऑन सेम प्लेस सेम डेस्टिनेस सेम गॉड हेड सेम सुप्रीम गॉड हेड but which one easier or which one attain without delay is karma yoga as compared to sankhya yoga sankhya yoga is little bit hard in practice little bit hard in practice where is karma yoga easy to achieve as told by sri krishna in chapter 5 verse 1 and 6 this is the example given by sri krishna what he told in verse 1 and 6 of chapter 5 he told the renunciations of work of sank philosophy in which soul discussing about soul and body a detachment from doerness or from work is given the karm yoga whereby one work without fruity result both are good for liberation or salvations but of the two work without fruity result is better than renunciations of work that is sankhya yoga or gyan yoga in verse 2 and in verse 5 of in verse 6 of chapter 5 he told without karma yoga without karma yoga no one can achieve doer lessness kartapan 
का भाव खत्म करना एक कंपनी एक कंपमाइज कर्तापन का भाव खत्म करना सो अचीव डूअरलेसनेस फ्रॉम वर्क विच डन बाई द माइंड ऑफ ए ह्यूमन बींग्स द सेंसेस ऑफ ऑर्गेन्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बींग्स एंड बॉडी of human beings so this create an ego that i executed or did this work so to finish this ego then you finish doer nessness then you finish work is cutes thought so in sankyog it is a very hard to detach from doer nessness so renunciations from the doerness very hard as compared to karma yoga and so karma yoga achieve supreme lord supreme godhead without delay or way or karma yoga or karma yogi achieve the supreme godhead very easily as compared to sankhya yogi or gyan yogi these two words of chapter 5 i just take of 39 words of chapter 2 because it is given on chapter 5 i take here and make a compare between sankhya yoga and karma yoga that your mastic between what is the sankhya yoga or your confusion between what is the sankhya yoga and karma yoga should be clear and which one is the better you can understood well and choose yourself give by which i will go these modern days sankhya yoga is very difficult to perceive to is cute because this is not day of sorrow as 5000 year ago as 2000 year ago it is a day it is a era of enjoyment so in sankhya yoga people get renunciations or be renounce when a lot of sorrow present in this world today it is not to sorrow as compared to the past so in sank yog method in gyan yog method it is a very difficult to achieve it is achievable yes you can attain your god in by the sankhya as krishna told to the krishna uh, arjun by both way you attain me but karma yoga is easy to practice so after this two verse 
after discussions of these two verses where shri krishna established that karma yoga is a better than sankhya yoga in term of executions in term of process of practice because every person doing work low or hard is i am doing works you are doing works if you are saying that okay i am not going to the office okay i am not going to the cross the cross in the field i am not going to the work as a lab but you are doing your work at home your daily routines going by your work it is easy to execute because you are involved in the work without any thinking without any practice the daily routines from bathing to sleeping and sleeping to awakening in home you are doing something you work in your conscious you work in your mind you work in your intelligence work has a image in your mind already but renunciations have no are not stabilized in your mind as work so it is difficult as compared to karm yoga as told by shri krishna to world's people in sake of arjun name karm yoga he told in chapter 3 of verse 20 to 23 24 he told to the world and 21 when i'm giving you verse number and chapter number do you must read or go through you that chapter and read if you read sanskrit then read the verses and interpret it given below the verse and then as a interpreter listen my gist on that verse listen listen my summary on that verse which i with the number given by me as chapter wise then you will easily understood to what shri krishna preached to arjun so i am taking verse 23 23 of chapter 22 of chapter 3 then i will go to the verse 20 from 22 to 23 then i will go to the verse 24 and in last i will go to the verse 21 of chapter 3 the karma yoga is so important 